So, I pull myself from bed. We need to talk. It's been one of those days, right? Okay, so I stepped on a dog. I locked my microwave. Okay, so I had this like really good idea the other day um, to, because I can't see without my glasses or my contact in. So when I first get out of bed and I have to let a dog out, I go warm up coffee because my husband makes a fresh pot by the time he got out of bed. It's not like, oh, jeez, contact case dropped, oh well. Um, see, that's how it's gonna go. I locked my microwave. I don't know how I did it, because you know what I did? I used neon paint pens. And it, it's real simple, right, Terry? Push, 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 push. I locked the microwave. I can't get it unlocked. I don't know what to do. You guys are gonna get ready with me because I need someone to talk to. I'm going to get my hair done. I realized I didn't think I was gonna do anything. I was gonna lay in bed and play Candy Crush Saga. Do nothing. No, spilled coffee on the sheets that I just put on. Stepped on the dog. Thank goodness one dog poop. Everything is like freaking going downhill. So you know what? I'm gonna get my hair done. And that's gonna help. Oh, but you know, oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to put eye drops in my eyes and take my allergy medicine because otherwise this ain't gonna work. Just said. Allergy medicine ingested. Aha! Yeah, here goes my day. Look what I grabbed. Ear wax removal. I'm glad I read that before I put it in my eye. So, let's see. What do I have in my magic cabinet? Remember Felix the cat? He had like his magic bag of tricks. That would be so cool. I used to watch that when I was a kid all the time. You know what? I'm gonna brush my teeth because they haven't been brushed. If you want to watch, I'm so sorry. Ugh. You know, I hate days like this. You think they're gonna be like freaking awesome in your head, right? The day before, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get my hair done. And then you realize everything you do is gonna suck. So, I messaged the girl that does my hair. She's like way cool. And I said, you need to be on your game, girlfriend. Cause I'm not on mine in any way. So we'll see. Maybe I'll put pictures after it. Oh, my daughter. My daughter. Let me tell you about my daughter before I brush my teeth. We're going to be doing some really fun videos and some mother daughter stuff like makeup. She's going to do my makeup. I'm going to do her makeup. And we're going to do makeup. Get ready and talking so you guys can get to know her because you already know me through a lot of like my writings or my Instagram or my biker page or events I've been at, promotions, series, all that sort of stuff, but you don't know my little girl. So I'm gonna show you a picture. Okay, this is backwards. Well, that's me, my son. He just bought a new car. It's hard. He just bought a car on his own and he has like, he has better credit than I think the whole world. He listened to mom and dad. That's me. I was really happy and I had my hair done. My finger's not working. Here's my husband. This is just so screwed up. Here's my husband. He's hiding and smiling. And there's she's there. There's my baby girl. I call her Cupcake. She's the light of our lives. She's pretty cool and awesome. You guys are gonna get to meet her. And by the way, this is the day. Ah! See, I'm all messed up. This is the day. Ah, look at that. I can't even get over to Michael. These two kids, we have eight kids. We have 11, he has 11 kids, I have eight kids. So these two, my husband and I, I forget that, you didn't see. My husband and I were married for like, we got married in 1988, we split up in 2013. We just got remarried. So these two kids went with us to the courthouse 7717 and we got married. We got married. We got married. We got married again. And our anniversary, which is gonna be our 30th anniversary, we're going to Hawaii. So that's gonna be really cool and I can't wait. That's like one of our places. We stay at um 
Rigger Waikiki on the beach because we met some we met some fab Canadians there one time, and it's just like best part of Waikiki. Anyway, teeth brush. Here we go. Ah, my husband's teeth brush. Well, it's not like yeah, whatever. There. Ah, it's done. Just don't tell them I use this toothbrush right now. You know what's, what's really bugging me and I didn't realize? You know, my we've been general contractors. My husband has been self-employed for like 40 years or something. And we built like massive homes. Well, excuse me, because I'm a skip. Never do that, but where's my teeth? It really grosses me out. I have this awesome sink. It's a vessel sink. It, but it doesn't drain. And I, you'd think we would know this. I found out, after having this for a billion years, thinking I had problems with my plumbing, that it's not draining because it's a vessel sink. Therefore, there is no hole here to help push the water down. So you have to like kind of like swiggle around with your finger. All right. Since I'm going to get my hair done, we're just going to pull it out of the way down because otherwise I'm going to look all stupid. I have no product in my hair. Not sure what I'm going to do. I think I know what I want to do, but I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out when I'm done. So, yeah, Nikki and I were coming up with a lot of fun ideas. And, you know, Yeah, you've got that big magnified one that shows you every imperfection you ever thought of happened, of having. Yeah, I need that. I have to flip it side to side because if I don't, I can't see with one of my eyes because, like I said, I only wear one contact, which really gets in the way when you're trying to ride a motorcycle. And I can't find the brush in one. Yep. Okay. Karen, girlfriend, you're going to need to be on your game because I don't even know where mine is. I think it's with like seven lost socks in my TV remote. They're probably on vacation. Having a drink. You know, like I need to be. Oh, you know what I think I'll do? I've got to make dinner tonight because I feel guilty. I haven't made dinner in like, I don't know how many nights. For my husband and he works, he, he works his butt off for me because it again no primer uh let's do primer okay so i've got like foundation in one hand and we're trying to do it like this but i don't know why i'm even bothering oh yeah because i'm gonna be sitting in that shampoo chair right I mean, that chair, you know, after you get your, sh your hair shampoo and you've got the cape on. I don't know if I said this or not, but if I did, forgive me, my head is like marbles. And your hair has been color cut or whatever, and you're sitting there, and they turn you around, and all those lights are on you. They pull the cape off, and they take the tail off your head, and you look like Godzilla from the 1950s movies that my kid used to watch all the time. And you scare the holy crap out of yourself. So I have a little bit of makeup on. So I don't like scare myself and break her mirror. Run this in. I think I told you about my grandmother's friend. She would only put makeup like right here, and it was like six days, shades darker. And she never blended it in ever at all. It wasn't a cool look. But then they got her to fix it. I'm not sure how they got her to fix it. But they got her to fix it, and she was really pretty. I remember as a kid, I was thinking, whoa. I mean, even as a kid, I'm like, 
up with this woman. That's just, that's just not right. But then, you know, living here in Portland, this place is freaked out and it's getting worse all the time. I mean, naked bike ride day. Okay. Naked motorcycle day? No, ain't happening. But there are some really cool parts of Portland. Looks like we have a really stupid mayor. There are some really cool parts of Portland that kind of quirky little things that I really dig. And if you guys ever make it to Portland, you have to do these. You have to experience shopping or just people watching and walking on Northwest 23rd. Eat, I mean, go in the summertime, you know, get rain on. And um, eat at one of the little outside places and watch all the like really weird Portland stuff that goes on. And then there's a place, an ice cream place. My daughter introduced me to it because she's like turning Portland granola hippie girl. She wouldn't like it if she heard me say that, but I don't mean that in a bad way. She just knows all these like cool little spots. And um, it's called Salt and Straw and it has the most amazing ice cream ever. She got me to try something I would have never in 10 million years tried. And that, I don't want to lose that I don't want to, I'm kind of lazy today, but I am going to go for like a big eye kind of look because, like I said, she's doing my hair more of the short can do. So, anyway, dramatic eye, somewhat. Oh, no, I can't, I can't see the mirror. I can't see my mirror, which is screwed up. My has this toothbrush. Why does he think he's doing taking up my cabinet space? That ain't cool. Anyway, salt and straw. Nikki got me to try this. You know, I always saw this ice cream place, and I always thought, you know, they've got to be really good because, no, we can't talk and put on eyebrows at the same time. There's always a line outside their door that, I'm not kidding, it's in the summertime when it's warm. And I found out they had a new location, which I'm totally off topic right now, but uh, in the summertime when it's warm, I'm not kidding, the line is, it goes around the block. I mean, there may be a hundred people in line. And then my daughter told me the trick. Okay, most of those are like tourist people. I think I'd know since I've been here since 98. My eyebrows so suck. I'm thinking about getting a microblade in. Anyway, she said, go in the second door, mom. Because in the second door, it's already pre-packed in little pints and you can pick up what you want. So I looked at their, uh, close enough. I looked at their, um, I hate that word, mom. I looked at their menu online and she, she was telling me, she said, mom, you really have to try their goat cheese habanero, habanero Mary and Barry. No, not gonna do it. Well, I thought, well, you know, how wrong can Nikki be? We'll try. We'll try. So I did. And I tell you what, that stuff rocks. You know what? I stopped using Latisse on my eyelashes and I started putting um, castor oil on them at night. And what I've noticed is my eyebrows are growing in. I thought they were gone. My husband's on the phone. Just a sec. All those text messages was just one of those days. It was one of those days where I just found things and I thought I'd text them to you. I don't know. So 
Some are cool. So what, so what does that mean, the ceiling? You said, what's up? And I said, the ceiling. Oh, I got it now. <laughs> you dirtbag. <laughs> you dirtbag. dirt bag. So what is, what is my weakness? That is me touching your leg? I, I, hey, 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 yeah, it just means I just, you, right. you, you're my weakness. Why? Why are you sorry? You should be happy, Jimmy with joy. I do. I got it now. Oh, okay, well, I'm sorry. I'm distracted. I'm trying to put my makeup on. I guess you guys are at lunch. Oh, All right, go ahead. I'll just catch you later. Are you guys working a full day? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, man. All right, I'll talk to you. Well, I'll see you later. Okay. Right, bye. bye. Ooh, I hope he didn't get caught what he said. One of the things he said on, on, uh, I don't even know if you guys could hear him. He's so cool. He's like the most rocking guy ever. He really, I mean, he really is. I'm not just saying that because he's my husband. Otherwise, you know, if he wasn't like the most rocking guy ever, I wouldn't have remarried him after 30 years. I, I mean, after being apart for however long we were apart three years and years before that emotionally because you know whatever anyway so he's like way cool i don't know what's talking about oh salt and straw so i tried that ice cream see my thoughts you know what they're like to me they're like a, one of those little super balls they get stuck or like a pachinko machine do you guys know what pachinko machines are they're like Japanese slot machine sort of things. My parents bought one for us when we were kids. They little steel balls in them. I think they used to throw them at each other. Yeah, we were a real loving family. But I tried that Marionberry oh, goat cheese habanero. It was amazing. And then I went and I bought, um, they had new flavors come out, but I didn't get any of the new flavors, I forgot. But I did get, I got strawberry balsamic black pepper, oh my gosh, to die for. And I got pears and blue cheese, even more yummy. Nars, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just going to use it. You guys know what I'm going to use? Because I'm just talking to you guys, this isn't a tutorial. I'm just bonkers. And I'm bored, and my German Shepherd, she can't talk back. Although sometimes she tries. Anyway, Portland. Found Portland. Let's see, what should you do? Go to Multnomah Falls. Those are really, really pretty. You should go to Saturday Market. It's down on the waterfront. And, um,. Oh, contour. It's down on the waterfront. It's really fun. It has all sorts of local vendors. And amazing food. And one thing I had never had before until I moved here to the Northwest was an elephant ear. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're so good. They're like these huge things of um, basically thin fried doughs that are coated with butter and cinnamon and sugar and oh my gosh they're too freaking die for and they're big I mean they're big like an elephant ear so what what color are we going to do guys I've got my black you can't see oh hardly sure I don't know. I don't know if I want to go a little black or just a little touch black. What do I do? Don't know what palette I want to use. I could use some help here, but you guys, you know, I wish this was interactive and you could tell me. So let's get rid of that hooded part. That, yeah, that part right there. That part right there. Let's get rid of that with, um, I don't know. Let me figure out something. I don't know what we're going to 
do? I have no clue. Let's just let's just do something. Look also it's black. Oops, sorry, it's black. Let's just get rid of that. Ooh, that recess back so my eyes don't look so heavy. Be glad I'm not singing to you guys because my daughter, one of my daughters, my oldest daughter, she said something once about my mom. She said, yeah, Nanny sounds like a Helen Coyote when she sings. Yeah, I don't know where that stopped. If I was talking about Helen Coyotes and singing and that's why I don't sing. Or what? But I got freeze frame. Oh my gosh, that was a song from the 80s, wasn't it? Yeah, man, show me age. Show me age. You know what's really cute? I have this little Yorkie. Her name's Martini. Oh, sorry, that's my allergies. Not like you like, but that's okay. Anyway, Martini, she's like seven years old. I have my German Shepherd. Her name is Karma. And Karma is... <sighs> Karma is one year old. Well, I take Karma to doggy daycare. And, um... I don't go there. Let me just use the nakeds here. Karma's like a year old. And... That's not going to show up. That's just like a really dumb move. But since I made a dumb move on one eye, I might as well make it on the other eye, right? So Martini will stand. My back doors are French doors. And so Martini, she stands with her little paws up in the air, waiting for Karma to come home. It's like so cute. It's so cute. Let's do this. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just talking because you know what? If I wasn't doing my makeup and talking, I would probably, knowing the way this day would go, oh my gosh, what time is it? It's 11. I have an hour. Um, I don't know what I would do. I have like a really big problem. But I'm excited about my daughter being here. You know, my husband and I are living downstairs. We have a, we have a really big house. We raise a lot of kids. We have a really, really big house. And uh, we built the place that he and I are staying. Built it on for my mom. And then she was killed. And I stopped, we stopped construction on it because I just couldn't come down here. It was too hard, but it's, it's nice. It has a huge shower. Oh my gosh, I love my shower. It's like 7 by 7. I can't see if that's even or not. But you know, it's one of those days I really don't give a rat's behind. So my daughter moved back in. And she's 27, and um, I wanted to make sure she didn't feel like she was moving back in with mom and dad, because we are at the point where it's like, yeah, parenting, uh-uh, we're done. Come on. Eight kids, and he has three, 11. Homeschooling, uh-uh, this girl, no. No more. Grandkids, oh yeah. I'm exploring those little Suckers rotten. I love them. <sighs> what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Do I just want to leave it like that? No, because I'm gonna have to look in the mirror, right? Let's go a little bit of black. Let's play with just a little bit of black. Let's go. Let's go on a drum. What palette? Use it. Naked Urban Decay Basics. And we're going to go right on the corner. Pat, 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 pat. Bring that. Yeah, I guess you can tell I have a real thing about bringing my eyes up. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but who cares? 
looking fun to see my friend Karen she does my hair because we have an idea in the works she always does my ideas in the works it's for the yet to the actual yeah it's much better the actual coming of maturity toward that come to fruition or not I think this was a pretty good idea you know, I was doing a series a few years back. You guys know about that. Karen had an idea, and I think that might be an awesome thing. We're going to talk about it for another one. Maybe we'll do it on YouTube. Maybe we'll sell it. I don't know, but it involves get this. Girls in Harley's makeup. Oh. Yeah, that kind of describes me. She has a tattoo artist too. Tattoo, or maybe you can like stick on tattoos. Yeah, okay. I can do that. I close enough. I'm gonna blend. So, my girl, my precious little daughter, has me watching these videos on on YouTube, right? Because she wants to do some of these, and you know, I I'm in it because I don't have anything to do and. It's going to be great bonding with my daughter. And she has all these like fun ideas. And I don't know what brush I'm looking for. Anyway, she has me looking at these, these videos. And there's a couple of these girls in there. Oh my gosh, they're so freaking funny. A lot of Ashley, Ashley C. I think is what she goes by on, um, on um, YouTube. I love Jenna Marbles. That, that chick. Crash meet up with her dogs. She's so funny. And I'm so lost. <sighs> what am I going to do here, guys? Let's just go black. Black, black. Black. Dark. Like my shirt. Anyway, she cracks me up. And then Ashley, I love Ashley too. And so my daughter's like, Mom, you've got to watch these girls. you got to watch these girls. Oh, and then you've got to watch Nikki and Jamie. So my daughter's got me hooked on watching these YouTube videos. So at night, you know, my husband goes to sleep. He, he gets up really, really, really early in the morning. And um, he goes to bed early. kind of worked so he goes to bed early and I, I don't go to bed I don't like to go to sleep early but I don't like him going to bed by himself I like to be in there with him when he goes to bed because it's a horrible feeling of going to bed alone and so I turn my computer on low to put my headphones in and oh, time to look at me around sorry for the sound I think the light went out so I turn my computer on and ah, freaking flip and I watch these YouTube videos and they make me laugh oh my gosh these girls are so amazing and no it is a rule you cannot talk when you're putting on your eyeliner I'm gonna close enough I'm gonna say close enough right until she pulls off that cape and I'm sitting there in the shampoo chair right my hair's done I'm like Oh my gosh, I'm going to look like whatever. Oh, that transfer didn't it? I didn't really want that to happen. And I don't think I need any more coffee today because I'm already a little bit hyped up. So we're going to cross that off the list. Although I may stop by. I should call her on the way and see if she wants me to bring her something to drink or to eat. I met her two years ago. I didn't like her. Because I didn't think she liked me. And that's really kind of funny because, not that she didn't like me, but that's how some of my best friendships have come about, is I've met people and at first I'm like, I don't think I like you. 
And then I find out that I love them and I love her. It's not that I didn't like her. I think I was just really unsure about her and she intimidated me, which is kind of hard to, for anyone to do is intimidate me because I'm not intimidated easily. Okay, that totally doesn't add up. What the heck am I doing? Pay attention. Okay, so let's do that. Here we go. Oh, you know what? I've gone blush. I forget so much when I'm in here talking, you know. Go figure I'm blonde. Yes. You have to make dumb faces when you put on blush and makeup. Another rule. Guys don't know about. You know that'd be fun. Let's, let's do a video on all the rules. Girls know that guys don't know about how we put on makeup. Like how long it takes. I was watching Jen Jenna Marbles the other day. And she was talking about how long it takes to get ready and why people don't. I, don't, I wish I could remember the name of the video. I'll have to find it and link it. Um... But she was talking about it. And she, oh my gosh, she's so spot on. She was making me laugh so hard. I threw my brush. Please don't let this be an only. Which I don't believe in. But oh my allergies! You guys have to excuse me. They suck. I hate them. I never thought I had allergies before, but I've developed them and they're not fun. Let's see. I can do my lip, so let's start with a lip liner, which is hover. Who hover, hover, hover. It'd be fun to go up in one of those hover things, wouldn't it? Just like hover around. Okay, I'll be back at while I put this on because I can't talk and I know you don't want to watch me line my lips. Line, except for one thing. You guys need to, to listen to this, especially if you guys get your, your like liner tattoo on. Get a book. Don't, you know, don't do it. When you put lip liner on, you have to blend it. In my opinion. There are no rules in makeup. I don't think. My husband told me it was a compliment. He said, You're unique. You're out of the box. No, I take that as assume. There's no rules. But you all seen those people, right? And they have their lips tattooed. I'm looking at myself, not you. But they have their lip liner tattooed on and then they don't put any lipstick on. And so what they have is like white lips with like purple liner. That looks like crap. So I always try to blend in my lip liner when I do that. And my daughter, okay, what? Like, like her. My daughter told me of these ColourPop. I can't read what color that is. Times Square. She said these stay on all day, so we're gonna test this. And that was a MAC liner. I don't know how I like that color. Oh. I don't like it up. I don't like it up, okay. We shall try it out. Yeah, I don't like that tattoo look on your lips. I think it looks really dumb. Unless you make sure you keep lipstick on around it. Which sounds funny, right? For me, since I'm like totally covered in tattoos. Okay, what was I going to do? What was I going to do? Oh yeah, you know what I'm thinking I'm going to do? I think I'm going to get some false lashes. I don't do this very often. I don't really know if I should because I don't know if I have the right glue. Look what I found. Can you see them? Oh, drama, drama. I don't know what they are. I don't know the brand name. But you know what I'm going to do? 
I'm gonna cut, I should probably do them both at the same time, right? I'm gonna cut off the inner edges because they always, they're always too long for my eye. And I hate having that, that stupid inner edge poking me in the eyeball. I'm not needing them on my snaps today. Let's cut off a little bit of that. Which one should I cut them? Should I, should I cut them like that? Yeah, I think I should cut them like that. Ah, let me know. My scissors aren't working. Dang it! I'll be back! Okay, I got them cut. I don't know if you see that or not. Cut off a little bit. Ah, we'll see if it works. Because you know why? I had my magical pink scissors, not stupid kitchen scissors that I was trying to use. Okay, let's see if this works. I don't know what glue this. Oh, no, here's a glue. This, this glue works better. It just says eyelash glue. I don't know what type it is. It's supposed to dry clear. It better dry clear. I'm not going to be a happy camper. It would be far from my bay, you know? Karen's gonna get all better. I know she is, because she always makes it better. Cause she's like a rock and shit. Can you tell like I need glasses? Well, I have my contact in, but can you tell I would need glasses because I feel like I'm reading a menu. You know those people that need glasses but they don't want to wear them and they don't want to get their eyes checked because they're too afraid they're gonna be like old. And they're reading their menus out like this, and you, everyone all already knows. Dude, put, get some glasses. <sighs> okay, let's just try. Let it set up for a little bit. And then we'll see if I can get them on. Does blowing work? It should make them tacky. Because it's not tacky, you know what? They slip and slide and they go over, all over the place. I usually use a and I shouldn't use I use my tweezers to come on. Sometimes I use a toothpick. And that I end up like pushing down and that like sucks. Okay, so long here, short here, so that means that goes on this side. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna turn my makeup around. Let's see if we can get this puppy on. A lot of white glue there. It says it, when it dries white, it's sure freaking better. When it dries clear, it's sure better. But I am not going to be a happy camper. You know what was really cool? And all these just be put on for me and I didn't have to do it myself. That's fun. See that little edge does not want to stick, so we're gonna try and make it stick. And I just flip and pull it off. Dang it! All right, just a minute. let me get a little glue under here. I'll be back. Ah, if I can turn. This is where toothpick comes in handy. No, kids, don't put them in your eyes. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, now we're gonna try and see if we can get that to stay. Son of a gun. Is that gonna move? I don't know if it's gonna move or not. But right now it's being still, so we're just gonna leave it there. While I do the other one, that's Karen. <laughs> Your refresher. Oh, she wants me. What size? So, we'll do. I am so excited because she, she changed salons now. She's like two, 
less than two minutes from my house. And where's my other eyelash? Oh, baby, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, please, I pray protection over me today. You guys that don't, aren't Christians, I'm so sorry. But I'm going to pray protection over me today. I me to have a clear mind because I'm like way super whacked out. And you know what I think it is? Truthfully, I think that Bill Cosby made my coffee. Or they changed the manufacturers on one of my new medications, my morning meds. So I am almost wondering if that is causing me to be like freakazoid more than all. I could do dance for you guys, I would, but I can't. So, just give me a wash. Blah, 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 And I'm going to attempt this without you guys because there may be cursing involved. We don't want that. Okay, that one went on much easier. And you know what I should have done, but I didn't do? Is curl my eyelashes so they would blend into these. But I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on my own eyelashes. Just going to help calm them up in the beginning. And then I'll go in down a little bit. Not much. Actually goes for like some real weird freaky look. Anyway, if you can. She and I have fun. She had fun. Draw my eyes. And I'm not like, I'm not digging this lip color. So I'm gonna go over with one of their others. It has a little bit more intensity. Uh -huh, maybe. And this one is still ColourPop. I can't read what it says because my eyes are old. I'm sorry, I'm sniffing. I promise I'm not a Coke addict. I just have allergies. Girls, okay, listen, when you put your lipstick on, especially if you have like a darker shade, open your flipping mouth and get in here. Otherwise you look really stupid. Uh, look at me, I'm like one of my grandkids, aren't I? Where's my concealer brush? Get that off of there. Do you need more drama for today? I think not. The eyelash can sit. I usually go over these with the liner again, but you know what? I'm not going to do it because Karen's running early. She wants me to get there, but I'm going to use my little star because I love this milk makeup tattoo stamp. I love it. It makes me feel like I'm not as old as I am. Where should I put it? Door. He's got dry. Generally, when I'm done doing my makeup, do I have powder on? I don't know. I don't know if I do or not. It's kind of almost too late. Why not? Put it down a little more. Okay. Do I look okay? Do I look alright to, to see my hairdresser and be in the chair when she, oh, I'm gonna sparkle just a little bit. I wanna be sparkly today. Oh, I'm just getting all in the mood now. And I'm feeling better. See what you guys are doing, you're helping me feel better. I don't look like an idiot, but you know what? I don't care because this is Portland and people wear, like seriously, they wear dinosaurs, like costumes everywhere. And they wear their pajamas and Ugg boots while they're, rollerblading and this is just like one weird weird bleep place okay you know what one accomplishment i made and i'm very proud of myself i did not put the ear wax removal aid in my eyes 
put that up. Do some of the Marc Jacobs setting spray on the face. Pretend like I'm going somewhere, which I guess I am in a way, but I'm feeling better. You guys really, you made me feel better already. And I'm going to probably have to cut away a lot of this video because I talk way too much. Okay, we'll try to get an after pick and we'll see. Love you guys. Bye. Okay, I'm done. I'm blonde. Karen. Ah, you rocked. I am loving it. She curled it for me too. What she usually, we don't do. We usually just kind of um, blow dry, but she curled it for me. And I'm totally loving this look. So I wanted to let you guys know that the day turned out a whole lot better than I thought it was going to. Although I have to admit, I did almost have to kill someone on the road today, road rage, yeah, mm -mm. not good, and we're going to have like a million people here in this area, visitors, on the 21st, 22nd, you know, I'm loving it, because of the eclipse, and we're like in the path of totality, and I just want to hide, you know, whatever, anyway, I love my hair, things are rocking, it's looking good, thank you, Karen. You know, when I first thought I wanted to go this look, this Hollywood look, I wasn't really sure how I was going to like it. I'm loving it. Karen's helping me. I'm having so much fun. It's just, it's been a blast. I am absolutely loving every bit of it.